Hi folks, this is Juggernaut from Better Red Than Dead. I'm going to show you how to set up Mumble Overlay in PlantSide 2. Uh, this is a quick and dirty guide, so it should be fairly, it should get you up and running in, in one or two minutes, if that. So the very first step is to go to our guide on our form, which is, I'll have the link to the guide in our description. So, so you go to mumble.info, click that, and it opens up their wiki.mumble page. So we go to that and we're looking for their downloads, which is a little bit down the page. And we're looking for a 64 bit client. Currently it's in beta, which is fine. So it's here. Um, the next step is to download it. So you see the link here, click on it and download. There we go. Have a nice fast site. So you click uh, install. So you double click on the executable and install it. Click next. If you already have Mumble installed, um, it'll just update it. And so you don't have to worry about uninstall or anything like that. So we tick, uh, accept the license agreement. So click next, go to the defaults. So Mumble client and desktop shortcut. Next, install. There we go. And just copies the files. It usually has this ticked, so start mumble. So you click that, it'll fire up mumble first. And I'm going to connect to the better red than dead mumble server. So double click on it. I've now connected, and I'm going to show you how to set up the overlay. So you click settings. So oops, in the wrong screen. And usually it's like this with no tick box done. So you tick the t advanced tick box on the bottom left, go to overlay. Usually is this unticked, so you enable the overlay. And that's pretty much it. You apply it, that'll enable it. But there's a few tips I have here. So you want to filter down so that it only shows people, the yourself and whoever else is talking on the channel, not everyone else. Otherwise you'll have about 20, 30 people in your mumble overlay and that's just too many to view and it's not pleasant. So my tips is to go right click on this, on the red icon and tick only talk and, and you can untick always show yourself as well, but these are my personal settings. See the red dot up here, you left click on it and you can drag it wherever you want in the screen like that. And I'll move mo the overlay around. Click apply and okay. Okay, back again. Um, I'm gonna show you how Mumble Overlay works. You can see it now currently working in Plant Side 2. It lights up their name when they talk. I've Mumble muted so I don't hear myself or have a lot of background noise. So here we go. You can move it around pretty easily. Overlay. Oh, here we go. Have your overlay here. I'm just going to shrink it up a little bit and drag it around. So I'm going to move it to the left hand side of my screen. Click apply. There we go. Quick and easy. It matches it. You have a kind of like a mini screen of what you see in plant side too. Um, one piece of advice mumble always has to be started first bef uh, before you uh, go into in game uh, into plant side 2. it needs to be running before plant side 2 is started just so it can, they can connect to each other not the other way around hope you enjoyed this guide and thank you for your time